baby, you should listen. Sitting with my sister, Sandra, Sandra. How come you cooking in the kitchen? Can be fleeting. Oh, Sandra, you're guiding light through sunshine, you're shining bright. So, sister, connected by a bond so deep, unwavering love. Our souls forever keep. Sandra, dear sister, I'm here to let you know you're cherishing love, and I see your spirit continues to grow. And may your heart bloom like wildflowers in the spring. Let your soul sing, let your soul sing. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we have a very special guest, someone who's close to my heart. I consider her my soul sister. Um, she's going to be joining us uh, today is an incredible Sandra, a soul awakening enthusiast who is deeply connected with the light and serves with a heart so big. She has a remarkable connection with the source and her purpose is to inspire, motivate, and educate and edify as a beautiful life coach. Sandra, it is absolutely a pleasure to have you here today. Your dedication to spreading positivity and growth is truly inspiring. Can you please tell us a bit about how you discovered your passion for serving the light? Thank you so much, King Jones. It's an honor to be here with you. My journey towards serving the light has been deeply a transformative one for me. It started with uh, the innate desire to understand my higher purpose and my higher beingness and go deep within me as I embark on this path of self-discovery. I realized that uh, connecting with light within me and aligning with that light within me helped me get closer to source. The connection has allowed me to tap into the limitless well of inspiration and love that I have for myself and for my home planet, my home world, and others. Wow, that is truly amazing, Sandra. Your connection with the source is evident in the way you inspire and uplift others. As a life coach, how do you help individuals merge their uniqueness and individualism while still fostering unity and togetherness? That's a great question, King Change. That's a really great question. I, f I firmly believe that we are all unique individuals with our own gifts and talents. And I believe that our true growth and unity stem from us embracing our individual selves, as well as re recognizing that we have a powerful uh, collaborative and interconnection with each other. As life coach, uh, my role is to dis help people discover their authentic selves and embrace their uniqueness. You know, together we explore how we honor our individuality while we're seeking opportunities to come together as a collective, you know, balancing that harmony um, between our personal growth and, and say our collective progress. Wow, that is such a beautiful approach, Sandra. Now, I love to dive deeper. Can you please share the three most important questions you often ask your clients to help them on their journey of self-discovery and growth? Absolutely. Uh, three uh, powerful questions I would ask are, are um, what brings you joy and ignites your soul? This question encourages clients to dwell within themselves and into their passions and discover what truly brings them happiness and fulfillment. Mm, the second one would be, what limiting beliefs are behold or holding you back? You know, you know, keeping you from reaching your full potential. Here we explore the deeply ingrained thoughts and beliefs that may hinder personal growth and, and work towards transforming themselves and empowering their beliefs. And my third question would be, how could, could you or can you align your unique gifts with the needs of the world around you? Um, this question helps people understand how to explore who they are and what they are and, and what they have and what they can use and where their talents can impact and create um, uh, new possibilities in their own life, in their own story. They can contribute to the well-being of themselves and others. I gotta be honest, those questions truly provoke thought and introspection. Thank you, Sandra, for sharing your incredible wisdom and insight with us today. It has been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
King Chains, it was an absolute joy being here and having the opportunity to share my passions and my ser and how I serve my life. Together we can inspire, motivate, educate, and all the while doing this, we can embrace our uniqueness and come together as one. So Sandra, I want to ask something special of you, if you could, no pressure, but do you mind doing a channel for us? Um, if so, the stage is all yours. Yes, yes, and yes. I would love to allow Source to um, channel through me right now. That's the spirit, Sandra. All right, folks, get ready to witness some amazing channeling right here on your channel. But before we jump into this, I just want to say a huge thank you for tuning in and supporting our content. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you find it useful. Your support means the world to us. Ashe. Everyone take a breath in. Take that breath out. Shasanotokum <laughs> Ela ki shi shi lo ku a se se u na pe e te shi na ke na ha shi shi na to ku u se se u se se u a shi o san to ku u a shi a sa ta ka u na ha te shi se no ku na hi na hi. Wildfire of a path twirling through the maze She just wanna party, escape the chains To immerse in the melody, and I call her not her name From the dust solitude, she finds her release Bask in symphony, her soul finds its peace In a crowded house, her spirit becomes untamed As the spirit in courses is moving through her veins Untamed, spinning in the world with a laughter, desire She braced the night like a phoenix on fire